We're now in the uh, the office development part of the of, of the bus station. So you know now we're north uh, of the hill going out of White Haven at the reception area um, as we come into the bus station. So we'll take take the opportunity to uh, to have a look at some of the offices. Mike, would you just want to talk us through yeah. you know as we walk through the building, you know what what the plans are here? This is a really special, really really special place here. So you've already seen the peddler, and that was about food innovation and creativity and local supply chain. Well, it's absolutely the same here. This is about providing a springboard for, for startups, for young entrepreneurs to grow and to develop, but to have an ecosystem around them that help them to do that, and to feel confident about the way they do business. Now, the partnership with Barclays Eagle Labs is a, is a really spectacular partnership. It's the first time they've ever been outside of the city, and it is part of their northern powerhouse aspirations. And, and wider growth opportunities. So we're going to partner with Sellafield and with, with Bet here is a real coup, I'm, like, I'm being honest. But the real beneficiaries will be the people who are in here, those individual organisations, those small startups that will now benefit fully from what Barclays brings them and then bring them a full ecosystem of support, whether it be from project management, from funding, through to design and technology, the whole lot. What you've got in this space is a number of co-working offices, but you've also got individual offices. The idea here is to, to select the people, to select those small businesses who want to be in this space, who actually blend together. So imagine, imagine a community where all you ever needed to, to live and to thrive was in that community. Well, that's what this should be. That's what this space is about. Can we just get a quick look in there, Andrew? Just to get a look at, uh, you know, just, you know, one of the office, uh, individual office units. Um, you know, fantastic. You know, when you think of what this was, um, Absolutely. And, and how it did happen here, it was over a, a significant period of time. So, so we, so that, that would be your office, but, but in reality you probably wouldn't spend that much time in there. The idea would be you'd probably spend more time out here, in these co-areas, these co-workers, even downstairs. Hence the reason why we wanted this area to be open, because we want you to feel that you're not talking. So, um, this, this, is, this is very much as well as important what, what we also offer, what Barclays also offers, and it's very important, is a maker space. 3D printer, laser cutters, all those kind of things that can take your idea, your prototype, and, and give it to you in, in reality. There it is. That's what you're designing. That's what you are doing. And can then help you route to market it. This is how I'm going to take that product and how I'm going to get it in there, commercialise it, sell it, and actually make something happen with it. And we'll have uh, individual hot desk opportunities yes. here as well. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, all of those areas. So you've got, you've got two very distinct areas, really. So you've got this area, which is a bit edgy, a bit cool. You can get the feel for it. So it's a really yeah. cool place to be. Um, and, and we're going to go through these doors. And this was the old bus station offices. And that's a little bit more formal, but still very much around co-working. It was about 2018 we acquired. So we acquired the bus station in 2015 and we acquired the bus station offices around 2018. Uh, and then the idea was to bring the two together. And, and I think that's absolutely right. This was a very, very poor, poor very poor state, uh, a very poor state in this building. What you'll notice is that throughout the whole building we've kept an industrial look. And what we've also done is strip back where we can and retain original features such as the walls and so on, the, the brick walls and clean them up and so on. You're in a space now which is a, which is a co-working space, so you could, you could literally just come up and take that desk. But again, what you're doing is mixing with people who probably have the same aspirations that you have. Within this space, we've got a number of fixed offices, quite, quite large offices, and, and I can show you one now, where, where an industry or a, a business would take this office in, in, its, in its totality. So, So what we're doing is moving from a space 
which you've just seen a moment ago, co-working, and then before that you saw the smaller offices in the bus station into a larger unit. And a, a, a one organisation would take this space. But an office is an office. Until you've got life and soul in it, it means nothing. So we are really uh, uh, wanting to see uh, uh, organisations who want to be part of this, who can offer something more to the community that is the bus station. Fantastic. You know, this has been really transformational. Um, you know, it really is, you know, it's, it's, it's the future. You know, this is the type of thing you would normally see been developed in big cities and, you know, it, we've got it in Whitehaven. It is, you know, you're right. This, this, wouldn't, this wouldn't look out of place in London or Liverpool or Birmingham. It's in Whitehaven. But that's something we should champion. Now, none of this, none of this would happen without the, 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 the partnering of, of Sellafield and what they've brought to the table. They've brought some fantastic skills as well as financial. But they've also brought their skills to bear as well, and, and Copeland, of course. Um, but it, but this isn't a project that's just about Beck, or so it's not anything about that. It's about a collective, and I think if we can, if if this building can match the same partnering aspirations that we achieve in the design and the build, in reality, then we've done well. We've we've been successful. Great, well done, Michael. I think it gives everyone a bit of a flavour of what it looks like within the. Uh, within the bus station uh, and, and, and its offerings to both business and, and to, to, to the leisure. Um, it opens on Tuesday the 25th of May and you know whatever we do here on video I don't think it really does justice uh, to actually being in the building itself so uh, you know, we look forward to welcoming people into the bus station from the 25th of May onwards and I think it's going to be a fantastic addition to Whitehaven and a springboard to a lot of the ambitions that we've got for the future regeneration within the town. Thanks Michael for You're the uh, tour around no this morning. Thank you.